This movie will introduce use of the matrix tool and use it to do some very simple matrix operations uh, using addition and subtraction only. Let's create a matrix A and we'll give it uh, let's say two rows and three columns. In the first row I'll put some numbers and in the second row So that finishes defining A. Now let's define B the same size as A, two rows and three columns. So I've now defined A and B, each with two rows and with two rows and three columns. To see that it understands them, let's have the program print out each one of them for us. That's what A looks like. That's what B looks like. Now let's have the matrix tool add them for us. Click the compute button and it gives the sum of A and B. I could do it in the opposite order and get the same thing, of course. I can subtract the matrices A minus B and it gives me that. Just check one of the entries. Let's check the entry in um, row 1, column 3. 7 minus 25 would be the minus 18 shown here. And finally let's do an example to uh, illustrate work with fractions. So I'm going to click the button that says erase everything and let's create two new matrices with fractions. Let's say A is 2 by 2 matrix 1 half, 1 third in the first row and 5 sixths one-fourth in the second row and let's let, mat let's like mat uh, let's let matrix B be um, how about two and one-third in the first row and minus three and four-thirds in the second row and let's see what it does if we come down and put put the program into fraction mode. So we're going to ask it to give us our entries as fractions by selecting that check checkbox that says fraction mode. And now let's see what A plus B looks like. We compute A plus B. This is what we get. Is that right? Uh, for the first row, first column, we have one half plus 2 would be 2 and a half, which it is written in fraction form as 5 halves. Uh, 1 third plus 1 third is 2 thirds for the first row second column entry. And if you add 5 sixths and minus 3, you'll get uh, minus 2 and a sixth, which can be written this way in fraction mode if you write it as a fraction reduced to lowest term. So if you check this, you'll find that this is correct. So you have the option of working in either decimal mode or fraction mode um, and we've just illustrated use of the matrix tool to add and subtract matrices.